Hello my friends, in today's video I will be unboxing brand new watch from Slovak manufacturer Biatek watches. Model name of this watch is Majestic 02. It comes in this rather large box. The outer box is protected by white cardboard. After we remove that one, we have this black outer box with company's logo and brand name printed on the top of the box. And inside that box, there is finally the main wooden box, also with company's logo and name printed on the top in gold color. It is gloss black with piano finishing, it is protected by this piece of soft cloth. It is quite heavy, feels very solid, the hardware is high quality as well. And once we open the main box, there is finally the watch itself, protected by that piece of foam. There is also company's motto written on the upper part of the case, inspired by the past, driven by the future. Underneath the watch compartment there is also manual. This one is in Slovak language, it contains technical specifications of the watches, operating instructions and warranty card, and it is for both lines of watches that this company makes, so for Corsair and Majestic. And now we can finally get to the watch itself. So as you can see, this is the rose gold PVD model, 40mm wide, with small second hand, the dial is actually dark bronze or dark brown sunburst dial. It is kind of difficult to properly capture that on the camera. My first impressions are that this is very simple design, but at the same time, there are some really nice details on the dial. The finishing is really nice as well. It has some heft to it. On the case back, there is also solid gold coin. I will explain that in the full review. This watch is powered by Eterna 3901A, which is really interesting movement with 65 hours of power reserve. This particular model comes with deep embossed calfskin leather strap with crocodile pattern and the buckle is really nice as well, also PVD plated with company's logo. So my initial impressions are very positive, I have to say that I like this watch a lot. On the wrist it also feels good, it is definitely on the larger side of 40mm, but it sits on the wrist really well. So overall I do like this watch and I'm looking forward to spending some time with this watch and making a full review, so stay tuned for that, thank you for watching and see you next time.